Hi and hello my lovely friends. Thank you very much for giving me this privilege to speak to you, help you in your studies. And also uh, maybe uh, pass your time during this lockdown period but during this lockdown period it has given me a very big window I have opened a very big window for myself where I get a lot of uh, means comments from friends they share relatives who are living far and in different parts of the world they have mentioned and I like to thank them very much for your encouragement and support, moral support. Please continue to do that. You know, when this window is so big, the comments also are bigger and expectations also become bigger. But the expectations don't change for me because I want to reach especially to some of my young friends who are experiencing a lot of problems during this lockdown period. If you look at the creation of problem which has been made by the coronavirus for these young boys and girls who should have been in the colleges universities and in the schools this virus has really played a very negative role in their lives you know we cannot imagine when the young very young ones come back to school the senior ones with the noise that is going around from the education ministers in the central level or some other states are taking bold decisions to open the classrooms for students. Good and bad merits are there but then what about the younger ones? These younger ones will simply be promoted in the end without learning much because half the year has gone and some of them are too small to understand what they need to do. Many of our parents are unable to help them also. Many have taken advantage of this time to learn and the parents also are helping them and struggling to help them but then there are many who have been really deprived and disappointed. It will be a disappointment because some of them had come out with great expectation that 2020, 2020 as the name says, would have been at the Pada Pada year. But then this 2020, the tournament itself has so many ups and downs and so many uncertainties just like that 2020 has become for the whole world we do not know what will be the end result of all this and it is quite scary because now we realize that our world or our lives are not as we think it is it has changed a lot and these changes make the lives of the young boys and girls very disappointed and they think oh, this is the end, this is the end, we are going to stop studying, oh, we will not go back to study the schools anymore, this is happening, that is happening. And so some of them surely are going to drop out from the education and it will be a great challenge 
for those parents to convince them keeping that in mind but there are some you know i like to mention this two uh, children who are really really very excited and encouraged and always willing you know always willing to learn and they have been doing this for long time from the time the lockdown period has started i have been uh, messaging them some uh, homeworks and things to do and they will be the first regular child to send me those things very very fine children and and they have been doing and they keep on doing and some of the things which they have done is like they have done it more than what is required and just yesterday they were asking me sir give us some more work we are bored oh imagine <laughs> just because they did not get studies material they are bored imagine their attitude on studies and the importance of it they have never surrendered and that is the attitude we children uh, should uh, we adults should help the children to understand that there is always a bigger challenge in life then overcoming this short period of breakdown that we had for our uh, schools and colleges so those two young twins they are twins and when i say twins i think many of you will uh, know who i am talking about they are twins and very pretty twins and very lively children only thing they cannot run but they tell me that they are playing cricket and they say one is better and one is a better batsman and bowler and one is a wicket keeper i don't know who is the wicket keeper there among those two but i said i will see them after the tournament and after the lockdown period is over we will have a game of cricket and we will find who this who is better in which part of the game so like wise two young ch- uh, children that you are doing well and your I know you can do better but I have given you some projects and please continue to do those projects also anyway to those there are some others like there was a girl in class 9 she showed me that she had done everything all the notes whatever notes was required she had copied in her textbook and written everything full thing from a to lesson 1 to lesson 8 whatever the syllabus was she had written down everything so she had uh, means practically uh, done for the whole year and she had shown me then when i said have you learned everything or have you just copied everything then that time she i think she switched off her uh, attention to that because now the learning part that was she was not doing only she was copying and writing so the learning part was not possible i believe but she must be struggling and studying keep it up while you're at home this is one way to pass your time and many many of you are still doing your works which i assigned to you and you show me thank you very much and please continue to do so because ultimately we need to learn something and those learnings will come only because you are doing something and if you do something and somebody is watching over it then only that learning becomes more organized if i simply give you some things to do and you don't show me then i get means bored i i say are ye karta hai ki nahi karta hai bekar ka hum isko de rahe hain so i i tend not to uh, do that but then means you have to be really patient you know some of you are not responding maybe you have so many other problems but anyway at least for the learning part you need to still be on the uh, move so that your learning doesn't stop there are so many mediums by by which you can learn the government has 
uh, started showing in the televisions also in the radios also and these are other means by which online classes are going on in our state also online classes are going on and it is showing some positive result that students are like uh, assigned and the assignments are being seen or there is if we have really have online classes then we need to have the interaction between one to one and that is not being possible because of our economic conditions and the location that we are living in so this plays a very important role and economic condition most of us we don't have basic things so we can't afford to have those kind of things so any little means by which you can still avail some part to increase some part of your learning skills i think you should take advantage and do your best in it beside this there are some children who uh, keep on asking and i want you to i want to encourage you to keep asking i remember in the beginning there was uh, jintu patak who was asking questions then there was ratan kesto then there was uh, i rohan roshan and all all this guy but now uh, they don't ask questions i do not know whether they are doing their work or not anymore but uh, children uh, you need to make a habit as i told you and uh, we need to make a timing and a habit when we will be able to uh, see each other and learn because uh, yes we are staying at home but then we should have a definite time period where you are available by yourself to study so today's uh, i want to in the end i want to tell you about revolt of lachima now lachima is a small village near barama you know barama masalpur barama the main road the main highway which passes and there is a small town which is called barama and near barama we have saint paul one very big important high secondary school there located on the highway just there is barama a very important place that was in 1894 those years this city or this small town of barama was mentioned so in january 21st 1894 the people of those area the people of of those area in 1894 remember the people of those areas they all came together from the villages of lachima kaukuti pani gaon uh, pana gaon sathebari and pathachar kusi and they all came and they organized a big rage meal it was a huge one because it was in the lower assam that was the largest rage meal which was taking place in panagaon from whole north kamrup area you know northern side of brahmaputra people came to uh, this rage meal in a position of the taxation which had been increased on the people the taxation had been increased so high that people were unable to pay the taxation on tamul the taxation on land the taxation around the temple area that on many things goods whatever the people had produced the british were uh, they kept on increasing the taxes so it happened that on uh, 21st january 1894 21st january 1894 uh, the maujudar you can in maujudar in simple english you can call the tax collector his name was dasuram choudhury dasuram choudhury who was working under the east india company came with his assistant mondol holiram mishra together they came to this village of lachima and they were 
asking the villagers to pay their tax. But the rice mill which was there was a so huge one, you know. They all came up to these two guys who had come to collect tax from them and they started to badly beat both of them. One of them, he passed away after some time. After some time, one of them, like this guy, was badly beaten and he passed away. So when they, these guys were badly beaten up, the circle officer of Barpeta, Barpeta, that is very uh, in the southern side of where we stay, Barpeta, the circle officer of Barpeta, his name was Madhav Chandra Bordoloi. He came with his armed force to tackle the problem because the people were not paying the taxes and they were beating these two Mojadas who had come to collect the tax. So he collected 75 of these agitating people of Lachima area and he put them in his camp. Naturally, around 3,000 people, they came out and they surrounded the camp. Next day, next day, the district collector, not the circle officer, now the district collector, Mekheb, he brought 30 soldiers from the garrison of Golkata, uh, Gorkha regiment, sorry, Gorkha regiment, he brought 30 police officers of the Gorkha regiment, Gorkha regiment or whatever they call it, and they arrested another 59 people because of the demonstration and beating of those two Mojadas. Now, when this arrest was done, 6,000 of the villagers who had gathered there, peasants who had gathered there, they signed a document for the release of these people from the uh, lockup which they had, uh, East India Company had put them. 6,000 of them, they sat down and signed and said, please release these guys. But instead of releasing them, the Britishers, so bad they were, so heartless they were to the Indians that what punishment they gave? They tie them like bulls on the plow. They tie them like bulls on the plow and they made them walk that way. That was the punishment. And one of the prominent names Gosai Dule, his name has been mentioned, he was one of them, leaders who was punished this way. Sixteen others were also punished, who were leaders, means leading the rage mill during the time, for committing uh, the crime of organizing the revolt, and plus assaulting Holy Ram Mishra Mondal, by which he happened to die after some time. There was a lot of petitions and requests. Then the Kolkata High Court passed an order that only two years of rigorous imprisonment will be given to them. Only two years. And the punishment which were given to these people, some of them are Pasuram Kalita, Jayanta Bes, Devi Datta Sharma, Nirbhasa Kalita and Manglu Kalita. These were some of the names in history who organized the revolt of Lachima in North Kamrup. A very important event, you know, because it was generating the feeling of throwing out the Britishers. So this was the very important, uh, important place where one of the important histories of Assam was played in the revolt against the British. So, uh, if you happen to be of, of those area, and if you know this area, uh, these areas of Lachima, and I think this area, you must be living on a very historical places where sacrifice of many, many great leaders of our country gave their life for the freedom from from the imperialistic rule and that freedom like 
it inspires generation so as to defend the country's border with our love and prayer and with our might. So continue to learn a lot of things about history. They are important for us and our education doesn't stop. It continues beyond whatever level we have reached. So thank you and keep safe. I'll see you in the next episode.